Everyone apparently in the industry knew that the broadcasters, Harry Carey and Milo Hamilton, had a major beef with each other. bothering you in the world of sports give murph a call at 312-644-6767 that's 312-644-6767 and tell him what's beefing you in the world of sports what's your beef is brought to you by brown's chicken sandwiches and catering Uh aha you know it tastes better all right phone lines are jamming up Phone in, I want to hear your sports beef, and as always, lunchtime and beefs and browns, man, it goes hand in hand, and Italian beef and Italian sausage, lunchtime and browns, oh, it tastes better. 50 Browns locations around Greater Chicago Land. stop in right, hey, there's one up ahead on the left. All right, what's your beef? Let's get to the phone lines, and, oh, by the way, we're receiving multiple emails here that... And we'll check this out during our uh, next uh, break. During the Reds game last night, a home run by the Dodgers was thrown back onto the field by one of the Reds fans. Throw it back. Well, we're uh, going to check out and see what Marty Brenneman had to say about that. Now, he did say that he didn't mind at Wrigley Field the first ball being jettisoned to back on the field. But let's see if Marty made any reference to that. Thanks for all those emails. In fact, uh, Joe from Schaumburg wants to jump right in first on what's your beef from Browns. Hello, Joe. Hey, Murph. How you doing? <laughs> Good talking with you. Good, Joe. Uh, what's your? Now, remember, this is not tool of the week. That's a right. person. This is what's your beef, more of a concept. But fire away anyway. Well, I got a beef about what Marty Brenneman said about the Cub fans. Uh-huh. About they do, you know, they're calling them, uh, throwing the balls back out stupid and that. And that St. Louis Cardinal fans are just the best in baseball. Uh-huh. And they never do anything stupid. Well, how about last year at their home opener, uh, when Tony La Russa made his first appearance, they gave him a standing ovation after getting a DUI. <laughs> now, how stupid is that? Well, you know what, Marty Brenneman, you know, he's born down there in, in uh, Kentucky, and, uh, you know, all those south of the Mason-Dixon uh, uh, cities, they got to stick together. You know, St. Louis, uh, yeah, you got I Cincinnati. Guess. They're all pups out of the same dog down there. But we're going to try to find his sound bite from last night when one of the Reds fans threw the home run back just to see if he made a comment or not. You know what I mean, Joe? That's right. <laughs> I bet he did. I bet he didn't. I bet he didn't either. Hey, thanks for getting us rolling, Joe. Okay, Mark. Nice talking with you. All right, pal. And, you know, don't forget, at, at Browns, they got jumbo buffalo wings. Bigger wings. Bigger. T- you like buffalo wings. This is a, Go to Browns for the jumbo buffalo wings. Five different flavors. They're flying off the shelves. <laughs> Sorry. 312-644-6767. Let's go next to, uh, oh, man, Nick and River Forest. Hello, Nick. Hey, Murph, my beef is the greed of Brian Erlacher. Look at teams like New England. Their players are always taking less money to help their team. All Brian's thinking about is himself, not the team. Get rid of them now while we can get something for them. Hey, let me ask you this. I heard Northy and Freddie Huber this morning, and, and I'm with you up and down right there. Nick, they're talking about, you know, Robbie Gould, Bears field goal kicker. If I asked you, who deserves a raise more in, in Nick's eyes, sports fan in River Forest? Nick, who deserves a raise more, Robbie Gould or Brian Erlacher? Robbie Gold, without even thinking twice. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Nick, I like your angle. Hang on. All right, You're going to go visit my friends at Browns. It tastes better, all right? Thank you. Hang on, Nick and Murphy Palooza. Back in a flash, I'm driven to you, as always, by Chevy. DriveChicago.com. I wish I had a combo in front of me right now. An Italian beef and an Italian sausage from Browns. We call it a combo. It's Frank Quintillo's favorite, President of Browns. I don't blame him. 70 to score. Donovan, I've got your mom on the line, and she's got a major beef. Ah, welcome back. Second round of phone calls. What's your beef, my friends at Browns? You know, the great thing about lunchtime is Browns. It tastes better. You know that. They have great, great buttermilk battered recipe chicken for dinner. In fact, take some home tonight. Honey, you're not cooking dinner. I'm bringing chicken home from Browns. All the side odors, the golden mushrooms, the coleslaw, the baked beans, but... Lunchtime and beefs and browns, Italian beefs taste better. Let's go next to uh, car phone, uh, Joe Easy E. Mike, probably everybody's uh, beefing today. Hello there, Joe. Murph, my beef is with John Paxson. Uh huh. He's been looking for a coach, or at least he should have been, since he fired Skiles at Christmas time. 
You would, you would, earth, you would, you would hope so, right? Right. So, what on earth is taking him so long to do his quote due diligence? And here's the real scary part: if he's, you know, knows who he wants, and the guy's under contract with another team, that's all fine and good. Except Paxson's the same guy that put this team of bricks together in the first place. So who's to say he's going to hire the right coach? Well, Where you know what? Put the focus on him. You know, Joe, uh, you raise all, all the great points. Uh, I think we're all big fans of John Paxson. We'll maybe give him this last, you know, opportunity to to right the uh, ship, as as, uh, as we call it. But Joe, he should have never coined uh, uh, Jim Boyle in the interim because that gave uh, a lack of no power uh, in the eyes of the players with the coach as an interim. And you know what? I wouldn't have minded picking up the paper today and seeing Scott Skiles named had renamed Coach of the Bulls. I still think Skiles is a good coach in the NBA, Joe. I'm with you, and I think Milwaukee is going to kick our butt. Oh, boy, you got a little swami in your there. I predict this, Joe. Thank you, buddy. Combining to what's your beef. And hey, Murph. the... Hey, Murph, uh, what's your beef? Hey, I'm combining segments here. Hey, Steve Goffin, you want to know what my beef... I'll tell you what my beef is. Let's get some runs. Let's get some runs. Yeah, you know what? See, what Harry Carey did was if the Cubs were trailing, seventh inning stretch, Cubs are trailing, go, hey, let's get some runs. But if the Cubs were ahead, he never said, let's get some runs. But then all these out-of-towners, the Hollywood people, guy plugging a book, everyone coming through town, you know, got a new TV show on the WB or whatever the hell. You know, the Cubs are up six to nothing, let's say. They go, let's get some runs. Uh Uh-uh. When you're ahead, you don't say that. But I got a hand. Hand it, tip the hat to Ron Sano. Last night, he sings the song, bottom of the seven. Now, the Cubs are up two to one, but Ronnie knows you don't just say, let's let's get some runs. That's it. That's it. Let's get some more runs. You know what? They should just let Ronnie Santos sing the song 81 home games a year. That's what I think. Let's go back to the beef lines. Browns taste better, and Michael is in the Quad Cities. Hello, Michael. Hey, Murph. Hey, what's your beef? My beef is with a uh, certain middle linebacker for the Bears who uh, <laughs> uh-huh. is being greedy about uh, signing his extension on the contract. Mm-hmm. But uh, years previous, he said that he would take a pay cut if they would re-sign Lance Briggs. He, oh, he did say that, didn't he? Yes, he did. And I believe they and I believe they uh, extended Lance Briggs. Yes, they did. Hey, let me ask you real quick: Who deserves a raise more, Robbie Gold or Brian Erlacher? Robbie Gold. There you go, Michael from the Quad Cities. I appreciate it very much. Let's get back to the beef lines, uh, courtesy of Browns. Uh, Brian from Schaumburg. We got Easy E, Mike. T- Look at that! Everyone's calling today. Hello there, Schaumburg, Brian. Hey, Murph, my beef is with Major League umpires not checking down to first base on a check swing. Oh, you're talking about Angel Hernandez last night. It was a DeRosa with a check swing, if I'm not mistaken. He rang him up, and you know that DeRosa can't say a word or they'll give him the heave-ho. It was wrong last night. What was the hurry for the high-strung Angel Hernandez? I have no idea, but it happens all the time. It should be an automatic check to first. Absolutely. No way you can do both. In other words, don't just take it out of the hands of the umpire. In fact, Bob Brenly said it best of all, being an ex-catcher, he said the umpire's vision should be glued on the ball, not on the swinging or check swing uh, bat, right? Exactly right, Murph. Brian, I like your angle, buddy. Hang on. Go visit my friends at Browns, all right? All right, buddy. All Thank right. Ah, oh, made Brian's day out in Schaumburg. You know, besides the great Italian beef, Italian sausage, you know what Murph's favorite is, don't you? Maxwell Street Polish. When's the last time you had a Maxwell Street Polish? Uh, yellow mustard, grilled onions. And oh, there goes Super Fan Dan, our super salesman. Look at a big marinara spot on his silk tie. He went and got his favorite, his favorite, the meatball sandwich. from. It's a big meatball sandwich, four meatballs and a marinara sauce. Bloop, right on Danny's tie. There's Easy E down south in Stager. Hello, E. Hey, Murph. How you doing? Good, buddy. What's your beef? I got a beef with the uh, the Cubs uh, broadcasters. You know, I'm watching the game, and it seems like more and more, ah. 
even uh, every game. They got to uh, give you an update on how many days are left until Soriano comes back. And hey. usually, I don't have a problem with that. See, they don't. Number one, he's on a 15-day DL. Yes. He went on the DL on April 15. I can do that in my head. April right. has 30 days. That's around May 1st. So, number one, I already know that. You already know that. We all mm-hmm. already know that. Number two, since he's been gone, the Cubs are six and one. When he was here, they were seven and five. Quite frankly, I hope as long as they keep winning, that he just keeps re. Happen. Right. And you, well, you know what? See, with injuries, it's a good thing for, you know, the announcers to give you a bit of an update on how his, you know, mm-hmm. what his situation is and mm-hmm. so on and so forth, even mm-hmm. throwing a date out there. What I don't like about this time is that he caused his own injury hopping around the outfield <laughs> like a 12-year-old playing a Little League game. Hey, I look at the bigger picture. Six and one without, uh, without Absolutely. him. Absolutely. And you know what? A big game last night because it wasn't the Pirates. They beat a team that many folks yes. thought they couldn't beat. Hey, E, yes. always great to hear from Thanks, you, buddy. Mark, you too. Thank you very much. This hour of the Busy Score Broadcast Day brought to you by Woodfield Nissan. Hey, we're just a couple minutes away from David Schuster live at Wrigley Field, and Jesse Rogers will be talking White Sox baseball in studio, our baseball man. That'll be at 120. So Murph Palooza jammed today. I'm driven to you by ChevyDriveChicago.com. I know, I know. Back to the beef lines. Mike's on the south side. Hello, Mike. Hey, Murph. What's your my, beef? Yes. My beef is kind of a combo beef with the oh. caller a couple callers ago. Oh, I like I've, that. You're throwing the combo plug in there for bronze. I get it. Yeah. Um, well, I've had this beef for a long time. The arrogance of these umpires with their own strike zone. Isn't, knee, isn't it supposed to be knee to shoulder and the black on the outside of the plate? Yes, exactly. I mean, how can they? Uh, for years, the Atlanta Braves got away with murder. Right. They got away with murder. I just think it's wrong. And you can't, of course, you can't. It is wrong. Them. It is wrong. And you know what? For a while there, when their union, when they were walking out of their own union, they all, a lot of them lost their jobs. It was the best then umpire in the next few years because they were no longer arrogant. Now it's back to my way or the highway, and they make that asinine, inane statement, it's my strike zone. No, it isn't. It's the rule book's strike zone, right? That is correct, Mark. It's not theirs. Hang on. You're going to Browns. You got me fired up, Mike. I love it. And let's go to our final B for today, Tom from River Forest. Hello, Tom. Tom, my beef goes out to anybody who disagrees with Marty Brenneman, including you. Look, Major League Baseball has a specific policy that precludes fans from throwing stuff on the field. Well, they that must includes- they must not. They must not because they've allowed a loophole for one Cub fan to throw they the home run ball back. Loophole. Most, opposing ball, uh, most opposing stadiums will throw you out. Well, wait a minute. Now, hold on. Let me uh, respectfully uh, disagree with you because it happened at Cincinnati Red Stadium last night in front of Marty Marty Brenneman, when Nomar Garcia Parra homered into the Reds' bleachers, they threw the ball back. So, Tommy, your, your theory doesn't hold any water. Out. I'm, secu- I'm guarantee security in most ballparks around the country, security will usher that I would beg out. to ask uh, that I believe many ballparks now, the tradition, if that's your word, and I know as a Sox fan it turns your stomach, Tom. That's fine. That's why the score is here. But a lot of ballparks now the fans are doing it, and it occasionally happens at your ballpark. I called you a cellular, Tom. First of all, I'm a Yankee fan. Oh, get I... off my phone, you jerk. <laughs> Yankee fan. <laughs> Thanks for participating in What's Your Beef. Join Murph for another edition of What's Your Beef. What's Your Beef has been brought to you by Brown's Chicken Sandwiches and Catering. Oh. All winners of the Mike Murphy yeah, Show Mike are Murphy. only eligible right. to win prizes 60. once in a 60-day 60 period. Days. Call Mike and the Mad Dog. <laughs>